car production, flip it completely on its head. To me, you know, gigafactories, huge scale where that scale is fixed to one or a few designs, so you're cookie cuttering, cutting things out. It's not good economics and it's not good for the environment. Hi, I'm Kevin Zinger. I'm the founder and CEO of Zinger Vehicles. Well, this is really the first instance of a complete vehicle that's using a generative design. So the building of this vehicle involved first creating a completely unique set of revolutionary tools that allow you to take the ideas that are up in your head and actually express those digitally. That's unique. It's never happened on the planet before. Why cars? Because they're awesome. I mean, they're what the planet is built around. Look outside, parking lots, streets, cars, the entire structure of the modern world is built around the car and transportation. I'm David O'Connell. I'm the chief designer here at Zinger Vehicles in Torrance, California, and I'd like to tell you about the 21C. We took a lot of inspiration from race cars of the past, the 1960s, the Lola uh, TCs, uh, the chaparrales, where you literally took the bodies and shrunk wrapped them around the components, the suspension, the wheels and tires that you have an inherently really muscular look, but everything's very tight and very organized at the same time. We had a very simple brief with this car, which was to create something that no one had ever seen before. We emphasized great principles in design, simplicity, boldness, and uniqueness. And we set up a vehicle architecture, a package as we say, that allowed that to happen. So the first thing that you'll see when we walk around the car is that the seating configuration is like nothing else. There, it's a two passenger car, but the, the occupants sit in line. There's a driver and a passenger. There is a 2.8 liter V8 engine behind them. So it's a mid-engine vehicle with inline seating. That architecture is fundamentally different. It sets up an aesthetic that is fundamentally fresh and creative, and it also allows for performance, which is unbeatable in this, seg in this segment. So one of the most exciting things about this car is the back end of it, right? Um, extremely functional. It's a high performance car. We've got a lot of, we have to get a lot of the air out of the back of the car. So that's why you see most of the surfacing is, is gone. That's the fact that you have this grill and the fact that the grill in consistency of design language with the generative design, we have smaller holes that turn into large ones as it blends into this extractor here. The taillight comes up and folds into that uh, recess in there, which is very, 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 very sculptural and really cool. And my favorite part is the cross flow exhaust. The exhaust fumes come out of here in an X pattern. So when this baby lights up, nothing else like it looks like this or sounds like this because of the design of the exhaust. It's totally unique, extremely uh, efficient, and uh, very new and unique, just like the rest of the car. So one of the most exciting parts about the interior and the technology of the car is that we're able to let some of that technology come from the chassis through the interior panels and be exposed raw inside the interior. And when that area happens to be the structural piece that holds up the steering column. And it's a beautiful example of the generative design that we have developed that you see in this case in the steering column, but is throughout the car and the chassis and other parts of the, of the componentry of the car itself. We also allowed that to come forward and be part of the lower steering wheel. So we've got this generative design aesthetic that's totally functional, reduces weight, and gives the car this extremely unique, distinctive look that's never been done before, but it does it in a way that makes sense because it's totally functional.
Yeah, I mean, I was instantly attracted to what I call the clean sheet philosophy. Like everything was from the ground up, just new. And it was uh, technologically wise and, uh, and even just creating the brand from zero. It's just, that just doesn't come around that often. So. Uh, my name is Jens Sverdrup and I am the chief commercial officer here at Singer Vehicles. I come from a long background in supercars only basically. So known for doing work for Koenigsegg where I was head of sales and marketing. And I've done some work with Raymac as well, bringing them to market. And now I'm here. Obviously 3D printing is a huge part of what we do uh, and what that enables. So, so the chassis of this car is you know, super advanced, this is a hybrid chassis, you know, it relies on titanium, aluminium and carbon fiber. The, the base price for the vehicle is 1.7 million US dollars plus option, although personally I think it's ever been a two and a half to three and a half million dollar hybrid car. So, so we're here to win market shares quickly. Uh, and we've chosen to limit it to 80. And yeah, it looks like it's going to be sold out before launch. Even. 21C, it has um, a strong hybrid system that we developed. We are really after efficiency in the powertrain. Um, so we've got a very small, efficient V8. It's a 2.88 litre, um, 80 degree flat pane crank V8 with twin turbos. We coupled that with a hybrid drive system with a 220 kilowatt uh, power trains at the front on each wheel, um, powered by a two kilowatt hour battery. Um, so it's very light and efficient. And the uh, lithium titanate battery uh, technology that we're using is uh, it's very dynamic, so it charges very quickly. And it just discharges the power very quickly. So it keeps, um, it keeps the power available on track performance. I'm John Gunner, I'm the Chief Technical Officer of Vehicle Technology here at Zinger Vehicles. So the um, performance we've been uh, aiming for with this strong hybrid, we've got um, 0 to 60 mile an hour at 1.9 seconds. Um, top speed without the aero package is around 270 miles an hour. Um, but we've been really focusing on getting the Laguna Seca record um, and beating that by at least two seconds. With this very complex package that we have with the inline seating, uh, mid-engine, um, we had to develop our own powertrain. So it's from ground up, um, this tiny 2.88 litre V8, designed and built in-house, coupled with a bespoke uh, gearbox, seven speed, a fully automatic transaxle, um, which um, delivers the power to the rear wheels. The machine doesn't care whether something's simple or super complex, right? So you have complete design freedom to do what you want, and then a way to put those blocks together. That totally transforms the speed of what you do, the intent, because you only put material where you need to put it, and because you're only putting material where you need to put it, it completely changes the material and energy intensity of it. And this process in its entirety allows you to design basically anything. 